Hey, what's up Moneymakers and MMTLP Army? I have such a great news to share with you in regards to MMTLP because we started seeing uptick in terms of the search trend. Now, the trend is your friend as we already talked about and whenever you see a lot of buzz in people, that means more and more eyeballs are looking into it. We already talked about the FOMO that will kick in and we started seeing the fear of missing out. So I have some great news to share with you. We had a massive good day, good week. Last week we did 13% up, but we had peaks and valleys. We all so know that there are there was there were some not so great news we talked about the fed and we saw that dow jones ended with 400 points up the last day of last week but once again the news all in all did not really make the stock happy yes on friday we saw a lot of greens as you can see but we see still a pretty big red take a look tesla is red we saw a lot of health technology is red as well we saw retail trade was red all week long and finally it came came back up on friday we also talked about some of the news that we have been hearing that new stock market lows ahead what investors need to know as the fed signal rates will be higher for longer and we also talked about U US market that Fed things is too strong and they said that expect some of the rising unemployment rate so they're prepping us to be ready to see not so great numbers but everything apart MMTLP had it its own run. If you take a look at one month, we are up 204%, which is massive. $100 turned into $304, pretty much, which is a massive gain to get in one month or precisely in four weeks. And we started talking about this stock before uh, before more than five or six weeks. And we saw that when it was below $2 and we started talking about this stock from $1.60, we came all the way 370%. So congratulations to you if you are real looking into MMTLP. Make sure you hit the like button because we want to share this information with more and more people. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell because we will have some of the massive update coming up very, very shortly about S1 approval and that will skyrocket the price point for MMTLP. If you started looking into MMAT, we saw there is a 12% gain on Friday. We saw five days, 56% up. So we see a pretty massive gain in MMAT. Now remember, MM80 is once again NASDAQ traded stock and there is less volatility is that is going to be in MM80. But MMTLP, again, the difference is it's an OTC traded stock. So not every brokerage platform supports MMTLP. But guess what? We started seeing the uptick in volume last week as well. We usually did lower than a million in volume. Now if you're new to volume, volume is the number of shares transacted during one trading session on a given day. We were at 671 or 761,000, 813,000, 683,000, so on and so forth. We went to 1.2 million on October 31st. We dropped back to, to below a bill, million volume, but we quickly got back up 1.4 million, 1.2 million, 719,000 shares were traded. And we came from all the way $6.40 to $7.62. So all I'm trying to tell you is the volume is also volatile as we speak. Again, MM80 hold strong apes. We have been seeing massive community and it is growing on Reddit as well. My subscriber base is growing as well for MMTLP and MMAT. So if you haven't clicked the like button, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, do that because it motivates me. It gives me the signal that you really enjoy MMTLP videos and we want to spread the word out so that not many people will miss out because there will be some fear of missing out very, very soon. And remember that it's not too late to add. Now, again, I am not a financial advisor. This is not an educational um, purposes or I'm not a certified professional or anything like that. This is only for the entertainment purposes. So do your own due diligence. At $7, I believe it's a little bit risky at this price point. But hey, there is going to be a big spike coming up with the short squeeze or gamma squeeze or whatever you want to call it. And that is going to happen at the time of S1 approval. When was the best time? $1.60. Right now, I'm not saying it's not a best time, but you'll have to be very careful because at one time, the S1 news will drop and there will be there will be fear of missing out to begin with and we don't know how it's going to end and what's going to happen but we already know that it's going to spike through the roof so you want to really put 
a lot of attention and you want to keep an eye out. Now, if you're new to this uh, short squeeze and what is happening with S1 privatization, I just wanted to quickly go through before I go to the trend. And I want to show you the trend as well and you'll be surprised what's happening. Now, MMTLP short squeeze electrifies as S1 privatization filing is imminent. And we have been talking about next bridge hydrocarbon spin-off as well. Now, what this means is $4, we talked about $7.51. We already crossed that $7.51 mark. Right now, we are at $7.48. So pretty much we are already there. But what happens next is once the S1 is approved, there will be another massive, massive spike. Once it is approved, estimated 80 million shares will be short position that they will need to cover within next 15 business days. Now, when that happens, it is, there will be a timeline. There will be a deadline. And at the deadline, if the retail investors don't sell their, um, or don't square that up, that means their short sell, they don't cover after buying the brokerage firm, firm will do their due diligence and they'll buy on behalf of retail investors. And we are talking about 80 million shares. Well, we'll see perhaps just an astronomical prices, regardless for the 80 million shares that needs to be covered. And we'll see a very, very significant increase in the trading volume. And ultimately, the bro brokers will pay whatever the price they have to to close out the position. Should this significant short squeeze happens at S1, once the S1 is approved, $30 to $50 to $60 per share is the most common an estimate for MMTLP. Now, this is speculation. We do not really have any data to back it up. We do not have any significant pointers to back it up. It can easily go $100, $200, $300 because at that point, people will have to buy to square off their position. Now, the sellers can decide what price point they want to put in. But one thing that I started noticing is the bigger trend in terms of the search trend. So the search term, MMTLP, and we started seeing the search term is going higher. Right now, we are at 89. When we were 100, we kept hitting all-time high, $7.69, and we went back down to 47. But when we were 60, around 65, 66, we started seeing $7.60 once again. Again. But after that, we also started spiking up. And right now, the search trend is 89. If you take a look right here on stock tweets, we have been seeing larger and larger number of people joining this particular um, watcher group for MMTLP. And we also started seeing the message volume goes up, the fundamental goes up, and the sentiment is also going up. So you want to keep an eye out. We are close to 13,000 watchers on stock tweets, which is once again, a pretty good sign in my opinion. And if you take a look at overall, we start started moving from red to green. Now, Fed already told us that they want to keep this higher rate, interest rate for a while. So that is already baked in to the current market. When it goes down, people are advising on Reddit and you want to really pay an attention. Don't panic. The entire market dipped like after the Fed announcement. Be happy we recovered so much so quickly. And I believe that is pretty true that we got back down and we quickly got back up. So if you take a look at like five days, we got back from $7.56. Within a day, we got back up about 12% and we went about $7 price point. Now, another resistance that you might want to see is $7.60 because we were not able to hit that 69 cents. So this is going to be one of the bigger psychological resistance, $7.69. And right after that, if we cross that, there'll be eight or $9 pretty, pretty quickly. Now, what happens? $7.69. Once we cross it, that is going to become a pretty good a good support level for MMTLP as well, which also means that MM, MMTLP won't really go below that price point uh, unless something really bad happens. And that's what we saw at $7.01. Remember, $7.01, we could not really cross. A couple of times we tried and we got back. But once we hit that mark after $7.01, we quickly got back up to $7.49. So that is similar thing that could happen after we cross $7.69. Now remember, S1 privatization for next bridge hydrocarbon spin-off, that is going to be one of the bigger um, event or big, big, big catalyst. And then there will be some fireworks for next 15 days once people start covering their shares. Now, one thing that you also want to notice is the volume that you want to really keep an eye out. Another thing I wanted to quickly share you with you is iborrowdesk.com where we started seeing the availables only 20,000. The fees are lower right now, 20.2%, but availables are only 20,000 shares. So we don't really have a lot of availables before we saw 150,000 right now with the 24.9% fees, 
right now we are only seeing avails are 20,000 with 20.2. Now that there is going to be millions of shares that needs to be um, really traded in order to square that off. And we started seeing 1 million, 1.2 million, so on and so forth, which means people are also squaring their positions off at the moment. But 80 million, in my opinion, is a pretty big number. So you want to keep an eye out. MMTLP short squeeze bigger than the VW squeeze? Probably yes. We'll see what happens because the placeholder for 3.2 billion barrels is going to be oil and gas assets to be sold off once it's private. Estimate value is 50 to 60 dollars. I don't know. You tell me if 3.2 billion is the right number or not but I have been seeing that number quite often now another thing you want to notice is we don't really see a huge short volume because shorts are scared at the moment right now 49 56 percent 45 percent 49 percent but before we saw that 67 percent 68 percent 70 0.23%. So it was pretty high. We took a break. We went down below 50, but we went to at actually 23.19 and we started going back up. I hope you like this information. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Spread the word out and congratulations.